welcome to a quick look at how to find EA Play in your uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC. So if we go up to the top, and let's say we type in Battlefield. So it gives you search results for Battlefield, so clearly it's not in there. However, if you look down here, you've got searching for an EA game. Click here to view game, play games in PC Game Pass. Bingo, there we have it. So basically, it says EA plays included with the Xbox Game Pass and gives you more of the games you love. Access to a collection of EA's best loved games, exclusive rewards, and member only content. Play select new release EA games for up to 10 hours. Save 10% on digital purchases. So it says EA app installation and background use are required to play EA play games. The EA app is not owned or operated or supervised by Microsoft. So EA app is, is that new beta app that uh, Orig EA Origin um, client owners will see. Um, you can technically install both, but only one of them can be opened at, 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 the, at the same time. There, and then you would just click Install EA App. Let's go. Yes. some of the games so there's quite a few battlefield games in here battlefield 5 which was playing that last night with a few people oh, that's great crack as i said it, since you're already paying for the game pass you might as well install the app and use this this is in here dead space series that's another good crisis stuff here even though the mass effects need for speed another good series battlefront 2 the new oh jedi fallen order is even in it that's a great one actually um unravel that's pretty decent and titanfall as well the others are some random ones and some of the classic medal of honor stuff is in there so yeah um some I'm guessing what'll happen is is that now that that's installed, it's just you know it's not in the tray. I've just checked to make sure Origin wasn't open as well. So I'm guessing what happens now is that if I click now, I already have this installed. Battlefield 2042. Let's just click on it to see what options we got. Oh yeah, install and clear with Game Pass or see the in the in app. And up here it says play try the full game for 10 hours as part of EA play with game pass yeah so that's at the moment it's not free um, I would imagine with the way things are going now that they're officially supposed to be starting on battlefield 7 or whatever it's going to be called um, won't be seeing much there is an update coming in maybe it's June for this but uh, anyways Right, let's go back and go to Battlefield 5 down here. A better example. As you can see, there's no limitation message there. You can install included with. So I just click on that. Now I already have that, so I'm going to stop that if I can. actually show me games that I've installed via the uh, Game Pass. This is where you would, would manage it. Seems fairly straightforward. Um, the installation paths for these would not be related to where the yeah, app or the yeah, Origin client are installed. It's always where the Microsoft uh, Store for Game Pass puts files itself on the C drive usually. But, uh, anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.